Yeah, I guess that is good. Um, <laughs> I made chili last night. How you feeling? Was it good chili? It was uh, Texas style. Uh, what do you mean Texas style? I don't know. Did you? Is it made from the meat of an executed retarded man? No, I used uh, ground beef and. Uh, and then, like, beef around cubes as well. The cubes is where it's at. I don't fuck with the ground beef. I'm well, you need some... You need other... You can't just go all cube. I like all cube. Nah, I get some filler meat in there. I don't like when it breaks down too much, and it just gets, like... You know what I mean? Like, the pieces of the ground beef get too small. Yeah, if they, yeah. If you can get them, keep them together in a nice chunk of ground beef. That's nice. why sometimes sausage instead of ground beef for that purpose. Yes. It stays together better. The, it's more flavorful. You take the yeah. casing off the sausage mm. and then break it up and put it in the chili. And then you wrap it around your cock. Oof. And, Oof. and it looks, she's got a nice sheen to it. Mm. You got a nice meaty sheen to your cock if it's encased in... In a uh, sausage tubing. Sausage tubing. <laughs> yeah, and then you fuck. Put some tubing on your tube. Tube on the tube, baby. That's right, brother. <sighs> Did you put would you put corn in your chili? Um, sometimes I didn't this time though. No, just uh, kidney beans. Do you and have a crock beans. pot? Nope. How do you do it on the stove? Yeah, you uh, fry up the uh, the beef with nice. some uh, onions and garlic. That, that's right, bitch. It's nice. And then you uh, you know you get the I use uh, I use half a pint of some kind of Mexican stout and then uh, some oh. coffee as a mm. base. Oh, so. look at this motherfucker. Ooh. Tomato sauce. A little stout and Tomato coffee. Paste? That's a hard yeah. dick move. And then you, uh, yeah, a little bit of liquid smoke in there. Oh, uh, yeah, Garlic and onion powder, cumin. Nicholas, powder. you little there motherfucker. You that sounds delectable. Yeah. You got some cayenne, of that in the fridge? Cayenne. Uh, yeah, I do. I made leftovers. Like, yeah, but you, I mean, you can only make way too much. Chili. Yeah, there's uh-huh. no way you can never. You have to throw chili away at the end of it or you didn't make enough. Yeah. Uh, um, Damn, yeah, a little chili. bit of oregano in there, and then uh, you use broth. Uh, no, no broth. You don't use broth. No broth. Yeah, I like to throw a little broth in there. No. Chicken, chicken. It depends. Beef, beef. To when I'm making a pork. Uh huh. Last last snow when I made a fucking I roasted a whole damn pork shoulder back in my pork shoulder days, which are over now, by the way. Officially, my pork shoulder days are behind me. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but I made a pork shoulder chili and it was good as mm-hmm. f- fuck. <laughs> it was so goddamn good. But I was sick. Sh- I I came to realize I get sick every time I eat pork shoulder. Every single time, and I think it's not it's not good for me. It hurts me. What yeah. kind of sick? Like I ate too much of the skin and I would get my stomach would oh. hurt. I eat too much meat. I can't help myself. When I got a whole shoulder, what am I going to stop? <laughs> Literally, yes. I would get the meat sweats and then my stomach would hurt from yeah. too much. Now, anytime I get a fucking ham, I just, I think in my head, I'm like a ham that's like three days worth of meat, but no. Oh, no, it's way more than that. Well, I try to do it in three days. For the protein. No, because ham tastes good. Yeah, dude. You fry it's, it's, all, it's all fat. It's all salt. Yeah, it's all salt, salt and, and fat. fat. It's great to be back. <laughs> you know what? It's not. <laughs> it isn't. The weather is shit. Yeah, it sucks. I it was fine. We were finally out of blizzard season, but here yeah. we are again. And it wasn't even the cool one where it's like you wake up and it's you're snowed in and it kind of feels nice. You're no, like, well, like fuck it. I can't do anything. Nasty. It's like yeah. it was bad. Like if it was bad, we just wouldn't have done an episode. We just would have been like, ah, fuck it. We do it tomorrow or some shit. Um, we just snow in. I don't know. I don't think that would have been chill. That would have been fun. To be late. Just not do the show. Oh, you've forgotten to upload it for like a day or two. Who cares? This time it'd be a, it'd be a snow day. Yeah. People understand I can't a snow actually day. do it tomorrow. Why? I got jury summons. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Wait, do you, do you mean not, you're, you're you, on trial for sucking a boy's dick? Tell them about Comtown. How am I going to get out of it? Yeah, tell them we, you have to do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you're on it. it uh, where are you reporting? Kings County. Oh, hmm. Yeah, I yeah. gotta call at five today. See yeah. if that if I actually have to go. Yeah, because if it's if it's civil and not criminal, those are really easy to get out of. Really? Yeah. What I do don't you know. Do? What tell what do you do, Doctor? Well, it's because nobody wants to. I mean, I, I had to go, and it's like it was all just. That's civil. where you saw that PlayStation guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. The guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's like uh, like okay. Well, this is going to be a uh, uh, an eight week trial. Oh. And uh, it's about like a uh, a company that installs ventilation. Their truck backed into like oh, uh, God. the front of a uh, a retail store and clipped the sign. So it's like. 
I don't care about any of the people involved. Right, it right, sounds right. like some bullshit. I mean, it is. It's just like some mm-hmm. bullshit, you know, dispute between like companies that own way too much real estate. Yeah. And so. Yeah, it's civil court. Yeah. Oh, no, it is. Nobody, they, they don't find, uh, f- like, first of all, f- like, fuck the attorneys for not just getting like a bench trial or whatever. I don't right. know why those need to be decided by juries. Who don't know about. Yeah, like, well, that that's why it has to be complex like complex business. It has to be such litigation. a long trial, is because they have to spend like three weeks being like, "Well, the thing about Vince is explaining yeah. it's a retard." Your Honor, yeah. I could never. My dick got caught in a fan once, so I can't. I have to recuse myself. That's what I would say. Can I tell him I'm just too sad to be on a jury. A fan of the show? Yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> a couple times. Uh, DM me, by the way. Uh, it's still true what the doctor said about have pussy you juice. Since the tooth, I have not. I've been in a little funk. Not only Sex because of the fun? tooth, but I've just kind of gotten depressed and I haven't tried to fuck. Yeah. Um, so I have not, but I'm looking forward to eating pussy toothless. It is really fun. I mean, I'm sure everyone's telling you this, but this is the first time I've seen Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. You look very funny. Thanks, man. Yeah. Very, I like the look. Funny. I have the flipper. I should be have it in, but I'm amongst friends. Yeah, yeah, you, know? you can be yourself. Why put the flipper in? You'd be naked around us. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got my titties out for you boys. I've been shaved in a couple of days. I might go beard again. Uh oh, beard oh, okay. mowing yeah. for the spring. You're switching it up. Yeah. Well, you got, as long as winter's staying. Oh, I oh see. yeah. You stopped doing the gay mustache. What gay mustache? The thin, the little gay thin mustache. gay mustache. You got a normal mustache. No, no that's actually very masculine. No, it's, no, it's incredibly gay. gay. Yeah, it's Gary Cooper. Gay. You know? No, it's funny. Stanley I mean, Tucci. A yeah. lot of us are very. Stanley mas- Tucci's gay as hell. No, he's not. Yeah, huh? Who mom? There's no way, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Stanley. John Tucci. Waters, the most famous I pencil thin did. mustache guy. Mm, yeah. Oh, you're right. He crushes. He little crushes little pussy. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> It's all a front being gay as hell because he just he has so many paternity cases. I used to. Hook up with a girl that really had a mustache. To fuck uh, Stanley Tucci. <laughs> that was like one of her celebrity crushes. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Because she likes weak men. He actually kind of is kind of jacked. Is he, he looks kind of weak. Nah, I'm fucking around. I like Stanley Tucci. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is, what is he? He's not Monk. Who's that no, guy? No, no, that's no, um, uh, Tony Shalhoub. Shalhoub. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Monk was also in Wings, correct? Didn't he play a guy in Wings? You ever watch Wings? No, I never watched Wings. I watched like three episodes when I was a child, but it uh-huh. had a real effect on me. <laughs> yeah. What was it about? Pilots? Yeah, it's like some small town airport or some shit. Oh, that's it's cool. It's kind of fun. I think Emilio Estevez was in it or some guy that looks like him. Anyway. And I did uh, I did Nikki Glaser's show yesterday. Oh, how was it? It was Her fun. Radio I, I like show. going... Yeah. I, uh, I like going to Sirius... Just because, uh-huh. like, you know, it makes yeah, you, you feel like... A you feel official. You feel like yeah. walking to Sirius. They got, they got that, like, $20,000 coffee maker. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Like an espresso? No, it's like a Starbucks machine. It's like oh. a vending machine that just makes Starbucks drinks. That's nice. sick. Uh, Not the one they had at uh, CPXI, is it? Yeah, same oh, shit. Oh, that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. I thought it was... I was hoping something more... No. Fancy. Is that no, still no. a company? Child porn... X Internet? Extreme International. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think so. Anyways, I'm at Nikki's show, and uh, I guess they do like Sway in the Morning right next door. Hell the yeah. Next they door. do, yeah. So, uh, Forrest Whitaker and uh, Adam, get your phone away from the uh, cord for the mic. It's making a noise. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so <laughs> what, no, it is. It makes like a click. I, can I know, no, no, I know. Uh, uh, yeah, Forrest Whitaker and Omar from The Wire were both there. And oh, I was yeah. wearing that Andre Steakhouse shirt, so Beautiful. I couldn't go up to them and be like, <laughs> <laughs> can I get a picture with you guys? Oh, yeah, that would be legendary if you got a I'm picture. I explain to them why I'm wearing... Or what Just the tell them is. it's a real steakhouse. Be like, you know how guys like you, <laughs> you know, yeah. tell them friends tell them, of yours from the old neighborhood. <laughs> tell them you were supporting a black-owned business, dude. Yeah, this is my they black probably would have liked you. Where I'm in the Black History Month Legion of Skanks shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they have a slave for Legion of Black Skanks? History Month? Well, they have a series of interns that they do not pay. I think they literally they, made a black, like a black guy was wearing like oh, a they chain la- necklace or something. Mm. Oh, that's a I good thing. That like that. <laughs> that's, that's smart. That's a smart <laughs> s- satire. I love satire. Yeah. Um, that's fucking cool, dude. You should have gone this, up anyway. The middle school teacher in like Mississippi, they got fired. Yeah, what happened? She, she had, had an ironic podcast. podcast. Yeah, she was doing satire, but that's the thing, man. It's like. 
The people that legitimately are doing satire get a bad rap because the people that aren't keep saying it's satire. And it's like, come on, man, just be racist. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good business just model. Go and just go <laughs> <laughs> All of your contemporaries are just like, no, this isn't satire. We're racist. Those are the people you're friends with that, you know, mm -hmm. that you talk to all the time. Just go ahead and do it. Stop fucking over the, the simple folk like mm -hmm. me. Exactly. Was she actually doing satire or was she racist? She said she was doing satire. She was definitely but... racist, though, right? Probably. I mean, I haven't looked into it at all, but I started, I, I almost clicked on the link and then underneath it, there was like another story about like a sexy teacher that fucked a kid. So I clicked on clicked that one that, yeah. and yeah. she was hot, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're always hot. They're re she was really, she was yeah. particularly hot. It's never some busted ass like. Mary know. Kay Laterno was a piece of ass, dude. A hot she piece was of hot. ace. Yeah. Um, and then this picture, particular picture, she was wearing a very small, like uh, a bikini bottom uh -huh. and you could see... Not pussy, but like a part of the mm -hmm. surrounding pussy area yeah. that you normally Some don't lips. see in a bikini. No, not lips, but just like regular skin. It, w it is just skin, but it's like yeah. very close to the lips. Side pussy fat. Side pussy fat. Sure. I don't think she should have been teaching a class dressed like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, it's never a hot, it's never like a, I mean, it's never an ugly, it's never like a Miss Trunchbull type. No, it's like a 25-year-old, like just recent... Big old titties. I would like it for college grad. I mean, I bet you sometimes. No, you know what? It probably is, but the kid's too embarrassed to admit he fucked her. Yeah. <laughs> like, only the hot ones get out because yeah. they're like, yeah, I fucked her dog. <laughs> I get yeah. sucked off by the ugly teacher. You're not fucking bragging Because they that talk shit. too much, yeah. Yeah, I guess that is how they get caught. Yeah. Somebody, loose lips. Yep. Sink ships. Loose lips. Let little boys dicks enter them. Mm -hmm. That was you cool know? that they were slut shaming women and, uh, you know. Fucking children? Yeah, they're saying if you're a whore, you're helping the Nazis. That's what that poster was. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what? Loose lips sink shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I, I uh, We had a sex scandal in my high school, my senior year. One of the gym coaches, he fucked uh, his teaching assistant. Oh, that doesn't count. She was hot, yeah. Teaching assistant? No, no, she was a student. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, wait. And she was assisting him. She was a high school. She was a high school. Oh, student. okay. Yeah, yeah. She was seventeen. How was old was cool. he? Uh, he was like in his, you know, late twenties, early thirties. He was cool, dude. Was yeah. he cool? He was really cool. Was he? Was he jacked? Um, no, he had like a cool goatee though. Cool, cool goatee. Yeah, he wore a lot of golf polos. What happened to him? I uh, went to jail. Yeah. <laughs> oh God damn! Yeah, really? He went to jail. Yeah. He you lost go to regular job. child molesting jail? You fuck a seventeen year old? Yeah, yeah. For being cool. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's fuck. not cool. If yeah. they see yeah. you in it's a leather like, jacket, it's do they like a also regular you? prison? But all the rooms are connected by those like tubes from Chuck and <laughs> 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 Yeah, dude. I can't. I can't go out today. I'm sir. I'm doing a solitary confinement in the ball pit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting my nuts. I got raped in the shoe rap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you hear about this? Put a hand in each shoe. Yeah. You know that rapper 6 9 yes. Takashi? Mm -hmm. So, like, he, he raped a kid. and No, now, he didn't. He did. He had sex with a 13-year-old girl. I think, well, from what I heard, Shutt told me, basically, so if this is wrong, blame Ryan Shutt. Okay. Uh, that his friend was fucking a child, and he slapped her ass. Oh, okay. So that's so, that doesn't I mean, it's bad, that but it's, it is different than <laughs> raping a kid. I mean, it's not good. Yeah, but there's, like, all these videos of, like, gangbangers in different cities. Like, so I saw one from, like, these gangbangers in San Antonio that's, like, yeah, like, it's prison rules. Like, no no child predators in our city. Like, we're going to fucking kill you if you come over here to San Antonio. <laughs> really? They'll yeah, kill yeah. him? They'll, like, rape him and kill him, I guess. But He yeah. is, I mean, that rainbow hair. It's f yeah. It's, in prison, it's you'd, probably wanna get, you'd probably want to get, you'd probably want to fuck They probably him. make him get a haircut. You think so? Yeah, I Cut guess. your damn hair, boy. <laughs> yeah. Do they, do they make you get a haircut in prison? No, I think that's the military. Yes. You could have long hair in prison. There's plenty of people. Charles Manson has long hair. That's oh yeah, true. That's there's true. like a, a bunch yeah. of people. In <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have long hair. yeah. Well, there's no dress code. You can have. You Not can have, in my. You prison. can have a swastika tattooed on the middle of your head in prison. <laughs> well, that's that's permanent. You can basically do whatever you want in prison. Sounds pretty cool, actually. Except yeah. for go outside. Can you play video games? Yeah. If you can play video if games, you're Anders, Jordans. If you're Anders Brevik, you can. Who's He's that got again? PlayStation Two. He's the. Uh, the Norway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That sounds yeah. pretty cool. 
He's wait. He's got a PS2. That's yeah. Guess he's got gay. A PS2. Yeah. That was yeah. his complaint is that they didn't give him newer video games. <laughs> that he has to play like Twisted Metal Black. <laughs> that's what. I, that's hard time right there. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nick, what? What's you depressed or something? You no, upset? I'm fine. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Stop. You wanna, doing good. I no. I mean, I'm guys. not doing that good, but I'm fine. Yeah. I you really know. missed you guys. I know, man. Yeah. This You're weather. Too this long. weather sucks, dude. I know. It's a it's bummer. Fun. Did you? Were you? You weren't here for that 77 degree day. No, I was. Yeah. I was. Oh, that was. Yeah. No, that was the day we were we were cruising around Astoria. Remember? No, I was by myself on my bicycle. I guess it was the day before then. Yeah. We, we had that day out hang where we were looking at ladies' titties and shit. Oh, yeah. Street. You know what? We did hang out. That's yeah, the yeah, best. And then I, I, biked, I biked to, uh, I guess, the Lower East Side and got a massage. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that makes two of us then. No, not I've a jer- gotten You didn't get jerked off. Lower Manhattan massages. <laughs> no, I didn't <laughs> No, get I just get off. massages under 14th Street, Manhattan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I get massages in Lower Manhattan. That's what I call my nuts. You get massages under 14 years old. <laughs> <laughs> a, we don't want you coming through to San Antonio. Chickity China, the Chinese child. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, yeah, uh, that's what that song's about originally. Yeah. Sex with a Chinese bare child. Bare naked. The bare children, naked, bare naked four year olds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weird choice for the Shrek soundtrack. Shikiri <laughs> China, the Chinese children. You pull your dick out and they start a sucking. Yeah. Huh? Mm hmm. What do you think of that one? Just uh, like that, chapstick. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck, dude. I think I'm going to go back to Baltimore for my mommy's B day. Yeah. When's your mom's birthday? Uh, it's t- it's Friday. Oh. Uh, but I'm going. Are you in Philly this weekend? No, next weekend. Next weekend. Next weekend, March 317, Saturday, Good Good Comedy Theater. Two shows. The first show's about to sell out, and if it does, we will add a third show. So come out and get your nuts sucked. And uh, so right now, the 8 o'clock's almost sold out. Mm-hmm. We got a, or the 8.30, then a 10 o'clock, and then maybe an 11.30. Stop the after dark, bitch. Um, but yeah, this weekend, I think I'm going to go, you know, hang out, avoid my father. Yeah. How much time are you doing there? 45 to an hour. Yeah. I got, I've been still doing that. The House of Blues show In it's Boston? Like, yes And uh, I was like You know Hoping maybe I'd write a new At least 15 Yeah I know Beforehand what you mean. I'd say I got about 10 I feel the know. same way I really don't want to have to go in And do a bunch of old shit But You also hey. should catalog Your old shit though dude I have been I, like, I started organizing everything you Should release a fucking special dude Come yeah. Town Records yeah, all you know, those all those bits about like you know things like the Blind Side, very topical <laughs> stuff. <laughs> people no will joke. Definitely remember. You should do a, a CD of topical jokes you can't do anymore. That's kind of funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and just release it for like so a yeah. dollar. 2007 my, set. My classic will never elect a black man president <laughs> <laughs> or a woman. <laughs> I'm still half right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess three quarters right. You know, if you really yeah, break it down? True. No, I guess. I don't know. How does no, that work? Then it would no. be one quarter correct. If I say we never elect a black man or a woman for president, and we elect a half black guy, then I am a quarter incorrect. So three quarters correct. Three quarters correct. Which yes. is what I said. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm the math genius, it turns out. I was the only one who knew the difference between median mean, and mean. The math yeah. genius <laughs> with a tiny penis. <laughs> oh, no. Flipping no. the ruler to get the centimeters. <laughs> I do measure my cock in centimeters. That's well documented. Yeah. Why? Because you're Greek? <laughs> no. Yeah, because well, you get more numbers that way. Yeah. You do bigger numbers with those <laughs> centimeters. Yeah, you get one of those rulers with like pikas on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Weird tiny inch. Yeah, what's the smallest kind of inch? Uh, I think besides millimeter. Your, uh, b- besides your penis, Adam. Uh, My penis is a pikas, right? I don't know. What is a pika? It's it's a how you measure I things in a microscope. Unit, unit of measurement for no, because millimeter that's all the metric system. But uh-huh. Im- imperial numbers have numbers smaller than, than inches an inch. mm. or units smaller than mm-hmm. an inch. Mm. Um, and I think it's pikas. I'm not sure though. To measure how long Adam fucks. Yeah, that's you can't measure it in a distance. Yes, you can in light years. <laughs> <laughs> each pump Each pump is distance Oh How long how The long actual thrust is. Every thrust okay. Yeah I'd like to know my My measurements That kind of would be fun After every yeah. time you fuck You see like 
the uh, analytics, the analytics of how, how much like yeah, your KD ratio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it happens when you're fucking 13 year old boys online <laughs> calling you the N word. I'd like to see how long I just got my sex, pumps are. Sex have live. Sex have live. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you got there, pal? It's people tweeting me. They're receiving their T-shirts. Oh, yeah. Someone told me they bought a couple Italian chromosome shirts. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's great. They're going to be strolling around town in them. Yeah. I saw a guy with a, in a come town pin yesterday. Yeah, those Oh, pins. yeah. Who <laughs> made those? <laughs> those guy, are really nice. This guy, Charlie. Yeah. Ch- uh, Strike Gently Co. Mm. Yeah, they're like Company. gold or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hit me up a couple months ago about making them. Yeah, I think he DM'd me that he was going to do it. But Can he make me a gold yeah, send tooth? send us some. Yeah. Can he make me a gold tooth? Yeah, and make Stava a, a gold tooth. I want a fang. You should have like a little cum town in the middle of the tooth. Yeah. I want a little splash of cum. Mm-hmm. My mom called me and she was like, because my mom works at a dental lab. And she found out I was toothless and she was like, uh, um... Uh, you'll never believe one time what one guy asked to have on his tooth. He wanted to draw a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what? She's like, don't do anything like that. <laughs> she was like, my mom had to call me to tell me not to get a dick on my tooth. And I was, <laughs> it was pretty fucking cute. Yeah. It's also, I feel like she's opening up, you know, I think becoming, uh, Having a cum podcast has made my mom feel like she can say whatever to me. Yeah. So. Yeah, my parents, my dad was telling doctors and nurses about cum. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's how really, you get respect, crazy, dude. dude. For guys, everybody that doesn't know, Adam had to go home to get a penis. Uh, reduction. No, 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 no. Reduction. No, 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 reduction. No, no, no. Yes. It was not. No, it was correcting reduction. surgery. There's no way to make it bigger, but they thought maybe they could <laughs> straighten it out. At least make it look less curly and scrunched up. I had know. a most little scrunched up cock of all time. I had a yeah. penis. It looks like it looks like somebody surgery. like neurotically unfolded a paper clip. <laughs> <laughs> but very small. Uh-huh. Same same thickness though. Yeah. But very small. Well, I'm glad you guys like my new dick. Yeah, it's kind of cute, dude. <laughs> Adam's, Adam's lockpick set dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Adam, I forgot my keys again. Could you come over and kind of let, let me in, pal? Yeah, it's <laughs> true. Now I'm working on a bank vault right now. <laughs> You're one of the guys in Ocean's uh, 69. I'm in the girls' oceans, the yeah. new one with Your Rihanna. dick is small enough that you're technically a girl, mm. so you're the lockpick expert. I'm non-binary. I saw the, uh, did you guys watch the Oscars? I watched it. Yeah, I watched the Oscars. I watched yeah. it with Mateo at the stand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like yeah, you guys love the Oscars. Gary Oldman won uh, for a movie that I have, I've never heard of. He played. He looked so stupid. He played Churchill. Yeah. Well, I didn't know what the movie was, so it's like behind him is just pictures of him in like a fat suit acting upset. Yeah. And it's like, what? What is this movie? Yeah, yeah. It looked like if they did a like British Eddie Murphy movie, mm-hmm. where he plays all the fucking like <laughs> the clumps. Eddie, yeah, it, yeah. Felt, it felt like it British felt like clumps. it felt like Eddie Murphy. Like, yeah, remember that movie where he played the midget, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Little Feet or whatever the fuck it's called? Yeah, um, I don't know, but fuck the Oscars in its entirety. The funniest part was when the makeup guy for that movie won because he made him look like Churchill, and it was a Japanese guy, and he's like, "I want to thank gay old man." <laughs> <laughs> uh, he looked stupid as fuck, dude. Well, I just like that they. I mean, in Hollywood, always does this. Apparently, he's me too. By the way, he's People a me too saying, guy, a rapist. They're saying that he was he's a bad bad boy. Who the makeup? Gary boy? Oldman, oh. the Japanese makeup guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, Come on, give me some pusaru. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess that's what it is. Is they all and you know everybody knows this, but. It's like this industry just harbors pedophiles and rapists yeah, yeah. for a hundred years. It's all it's in a business built on literally raping people. Yeah, yeah. And then because they got caught, now they take turns going on stage, handing each other tiny little statues, going like, "We're at the forefront of stopping sexual assault." <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm sorry, but the people that work at Best Buy aren't raping each other. Yeah. In the stock room. <laughs> That's solely you. This is you doing. You this. want to be the weekend manager yeah. here at Best. By We're Don't setting an example for the world <laughs> by See? by finally, you know, uh, pretending like everyone else does the thing that we do. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. Yeah, they're just they're all pigs. Yeah. They're all fucking horrific pigs. Well, congratulations to Kobe Bryant from going from the one industry you could be a rapist to the other industry. No, I don't know that. Right. You, yeah. There's a lot of the question marks. Kobe surrounding. effed the hell yeah. out of that poor. Woman. I like that he he essentially won an Oscar for like he basically. 
basically won a letter writing contest. Yeah. He wrote a, gave him a fucking Oscar for, for writing the best letter to the editor. Yeah. About himself. About an exit survey. Yeah. He wrote yeah. it. So he, he filled out one of those comment cards about how it's should feel about the NBA. And, and also, it sucked. Oscar. Did you see the actual thing? The, like, animation, the animation sucked. sucked. Yeah. yeah. It, it was like, like the snowman. The music was yeah. good. It was John Williams. And the, the letter wasn't bad. Shut up. It sucks. Fuck you. Dear basketball. Come on. You know. And there were some problems in Colorado, know. dear basketball. No, he never talked it about sucked. that. It sucked. I was, I was a whore accused me of something I did not do. Mm -hmm. So what? I helped myself to some asshole, even though she told me I could not. That's not my fault. Mm -hmm. Anyway... Uh, basketball was fun. Got to go. That was, so, was that the, was J it. the Jada Kiss line. Why did Kobe got to put it in the ass? Or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kobe. Yeah. So anyway, congrats to him for being a mm. double rapist. And Frances McDormand seemed like she was like completely, on, completely unhinged. Yeah, yeah, on drugs. Yeah. yeah, my girl gets fucked up on dab. She thought she was gonna really close it with like her like closing line, and it just bombed. Yeah, in the yeah. When the closer, <laughs> she's bombs. like, last last thing, I inclusion. Cla claws And then it's just like Is the speech over And then she walked yeah. off stage It was weird I'm sorry Are you a fucking l a Lawyer now Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You think that that's uh, That's in any way legal is What is that Demand that if you want to work on something You have to hire people of my race <laughs> Yeah I'm so <laughs> raised yeah. yeah right, right. <laughs> It's weird Yeah <laughs> I'm all for it, dude. Get, yeah, get more cute fat boys. That's the and that movie wasn't. Want. That movie wasn't. That Three good. Billboards is completely overrated. Yeah, it wasn't I that good. It was. I mean, it was an entertaining movie, but the way people were sucking its dick, it's like this is not. Well, because I think it was like rape adjacent. Call Me by Your Name was the best movie that came out. It last was year. really good. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I did not get hard a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you did in the slightest. Did my you get any money? So did you get my dick was asleep that Did whole you movie. get any money cuz they um made your life story into a movie, Adam? Um actually I didn't. Thank no. you. So. <laughs> wow, dude, so that's if there are any up. lawyers listening. That's fucked up. My summer in Italy was It's <laughs> <laughs> like you don't deserve that kind of shit, dude. I haven't seen it yet, but I feel like it's you don't really deserve good. those kind of sweet dickings that that kid that Timothy Chalamet get got. Tim yeah, Timothy Sh Charlemagne the God. Shamalay. Sh Shamalay. Sh yeah. It sounds like it, it, Timothy Shamwow Malay. It sounds like he's pronouncing it wrong. Chalamet. Is his Chalamet. name Timothy too? Yeah, Timothy. Timothy Mozgov. Timothy Mozgov. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what do they beat off in a peach in that movie or something? He jacks off in a peach, and then he eats. And it? then they gave it to a woman that jacks off in a fish. So that's wait, did he eat up. the peach? Um. Yeah, he eats the peach. His own cum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was That's at I was up. at uh, some some bar. It was the guys come. Them there's a girl that like listens to the show. Walked in and she looked familiar, I guess, or mm -hmm. whatever. Anybody talked to her? And she came and sat down and she was reading the book. And she had like the "Call Me by Your Name" book. And I was like, "Let's go to the part where you, the peach part." And I <laughs> opened the book and found it within like four seconds. Whoa, you've got a fucking wow. sixth sense, dude. Yeah. For fucking literature about cum. <laughs> a guy eating his own cum, Nick can spot it. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty quickly. It's like when a dog can fucking smell cancer in, in somebody, you can find cum in a book. Yeah. You know? Is the dog smelling cancer or peanut butter? I don't know. It's like, you want to know, you wanna know how butter. I found out I had dick cancer? It's, it's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I found out I had testicular cancer because my, for whatever reason, my dog just yeah. kept licking my balls and my dick yeah, I just all day long. I was like, what is it, boy? What is it? Trouble down at the old warehouse? What is, what is it, Lassie? And it turns out my wife also had pussy and yeah. asshole cancer. There's also. a little boy down in the well that needs to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> just a guy running up to the well with Lassie and his dick covered in peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that boy? He's shimming because yeah, his yeah. fucking <laughs> pants are around his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a dog uh, lick your balls while while you're having sex with a woman? No, no. So you have never mind. You have and tell us the story. Yep, this just happened just recently. I had a cat. Icy's done. I had a, it, yeah. I had a cat <laughs> <laughs> lick my ass. Icy's lick my balls. Really? Uh, yeah. Like Cats a, have shitty tongues, though. Like a uh, like a man in a Garfield costume. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, while well, I was having sex with him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. At Anthrocon a couple years ago. <laughs> 
That was me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> when did Icy lick your balls? It's happened a couple times. Really? Yeah, you just forget about Icy being there. Yeah, dude. Dogs do that, and they're like, this is revenge for Westminster. <laughs> <laughs> There's a portion where an English guy eats a dog's ass and tastes the better-tasting dog. That's part, of the, that's part of the scoring system. I was trying to write a bit for stand-up today about, like, you know, we're doing all this Me Too shit. When are we going to call out the fucking... That guy from the Westminster Dog Show that just touches all those dog yep. balls. <laughs> Probably the most horrific sex criminal in all of entertainment. <laughs> Nobody's stopping him. I might. I'm why? Because too many people's jobs are on the line. That's why. That's true. It's a whole industry. Yeah, yeah, big dog show. Do they actually, like, see how good their balls are? Yeah, he smells it. <laughs> it takes a big asshole and put, mm-hmm. puts he with Do you weigh their nuts? Um, Whoever's got the heaviest nuts wins. Yeah, that's a, that's a different kind of dog. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, how much do you think your balls weigh if you put them on a scale? My balls? A couple pounds? No, nah, not a couple pounds. <laughs> it's your the adult you the talking? adult weight. <laughs> I think a couple, couple pounds. pounds. <laughs> the, the adult weight of your balls is the same weight you were as a baby. No, no as chance. a newborn. No. I did have big ass balls as a baby, but they're even bigger now, baby. Yeah. So if you no no no, I mean that your entire. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so whatever you were. About. Yeah, I'm nine pounds seven ounce balls. You're a big baby. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Wow. <gasps> wow, that's crazy. Mine is seven pounds. Adam. Um, okay. Mine's All right. Like, well, yeah, yeah, we don't need there. to hear balls. <laughs> uh, guys, guess what? It's What's break that? time, and I want to take this opportunity to talk to you about a new underwear I that love I've been it. wearing. Uh, Mac work well, for heavy no. balls? No. Uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> they work for yes. any kind of ball. <laughs> um, don't ask questions. <laughs> you can contribute, but this don't ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> Um, have fun. Say what you want. You know how to talk to your audience better than anyone else. No rules, but there are. Just don't use the word undies or talk negatively. About- oh, no, dude, you can't sorry. part of this part. I'm, re- I'm reading the uh, wrong part. I of know. The don't run this one. No, it's fine. <laughs> they said don't say a couple words and you said them. <laughs> Bleep them out. It's fine. No, you know, this is a kind of loose, you know, sure. sort of avant-garde mm-hmm. style of marketing mm-hmm. that Mack Weldon appreciates. And yes. Is the reason love the Mack only Weldon. company willing to do business. <laughs> God bless him. God bless Mack Weldon. Yeah. My uh, heavy ass nuts feel great in it. No, they really are comfortable underwear, and it's much easier to shop on MacWeldon.com than our website, where you can buy overpriced T-shirts made with terrible fabrics <laughs> with atrocious design. <laughs> Mac Weldon's website is very easy to use. It actually uh, is a secured server, so you don't have to worry about your information getting stolen, uh, which is not the case on Come <laughs> <laughs> where you can buy a physical Stabby Shop is secure, by the way. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, Mac Weldon believes in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. Uh, they're the most comfortable underwear that you can buy right now. Um, I can't guarantee that in the future there won't be some sort of underwear that but sucks right your now. dick. But right now, Ooh, that yeah. sounds good. Are they working on any prototypes? Yeah, of that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to put their business out there. But they may be working on underwear that sucks your dick. Uh, they got a line of silver underwear and shirts that are naturally antimicrobial, which means they eliminate odor, and they want you to be comfortable. So if you don't like your first pair of underwear, you can return it, and they will refund you, no questions asked. Not only does Mac Weldon underwear, socks, shirts, and pants look good, they perform well too. They're good for working out, going to work, going out on dates, or just everyday life. Everyday you know? life, dude. Sitting at home, watching... You know, queer eye for the straight guy. Queer eye for the straight guy. You're all right. You know, video podcasts, <laughs> whatever you're doing. Uh, so go to MacWeldon.com and get twenty percent off using promo code Cumtown. That's all capital letters: C U M T O W N. MacWeldon.com. Check them out. And we're back. And we're back. Yeah, um, I did mention if you want to. Buy a Andre's Steakhouse merchandise. Because a lot of people, my policy has always been, if you want to fucking make money off the name of this show, go for it. I don't give a shit, you know? Um, but uh, there was enough people that asked, so I went ahead and I put up a store. It's com.town if you want to buy those shirts, which uh, the prices are high, but it's all drop shipping. And uh, what does that mean? Third, drop ship third party fulfillment. So I don't see any of the merchandise. Oh, okay. I don't have inventory. You buy it. The um, the cost of the items is debited from my bank account. Mm-hmm. It comes out of my bank account, and then uh, 
can you move your phone away from Oh, the, fuck. I keep doing that in my bed. Yeah. It's all right. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the money comes out of my bank account, and then when it's, once it finally ships, then the difference is, like, mm. credited to oh, my bank. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's actually, it was, it's, it's been it a Chinese? huge, it's been a huge mistake. That seems so. horrible, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. now I have, like, all, like a, a, a million different charges all yeah. over my fucking card. I have to pay taxes on all of that. Oh, fuck and, that. Yeah, I have, to, I have to pay sales tax now oh. in mm-hmm. every individual you state. You should my guy, dude. Um, you probably owe sales tax too. If you get audited, you're going to get fucked. No, nah, no, nah, he does all the sales tax on his end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Something is causing this thing to make. Should we pause noise. and figure it out? No, it's fine. Is it still buzzing? Uh, no, it just stopped. But okay. I mean, it's been fine the entire time. But it just started doing. I'm gonna put my phone even further away. I don't know if it's a phone or. It's probably my heavy ass nuts. You it's know, probably my you, it magnetic was, it pubes. Wasn't, it wasn't a problem on, on the episodes you were doing at your place, so mm. I'll just say that much. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's my, There's a new variable here. Yeah. <laughs> so I starve David's. Uh, yeah. It's, it's fucking, the mezuzah. It's all my mezuzahs. <laughs> 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 What, you know, what is that? That misses that like lets it's, other uh, vampires know. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Ward off other vampires. Yeah, it's just to say that the blood has already been sucked dry out of this place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no real living creatures here. Yeah, it lets criminals know that this is a this is probably a house that's going to put up a fight. Mm. Yeah. This is where. Yes, <laughs> some real alpha men. Are you play. ready to watch uh, uh, Death Wish? Oh, the new one. The new one with Bruce Willis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, is it going to be good, do you think? Um, I'm definitely going to see it. It's definitely like, like uh, you know. I, I read online that it's just a disgusting white male fantasy. That's what I think what? it is. What? So I will not be supporting that movie. I'm That's not going to pay for it, but I will see it. Charles yeah. Bronson was queer, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's Mongolian. I refuse, I refuse to see a movie where a white man does anything except apologize. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. Sway's in uh, Death Wish. Your Is friend it? Sway. My friend Sway, mm-hmm. who came up to me and was like, yo, I got to say, mad respect for your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Black-owned uh, businesses. Um I do. Have you been watching Queer Eye, Adam? Oh yeah. Did you see the episode? We I saw. saw that, remember all. that episode of that fucking stand-up comic dude? That, oh, oh, that guy that, in Atlanta. What a fucking Rough. loser, <laughs> <laughs> dude. He had such <laughs> little Rough. charisma. How do you know he doesn't listen to comedy? <laughs> Dog, what do you want me Whatever. to do about yeah, it? Yeah. So he put it out there. <laughs> like those guys liked a cop that was a Trump supporter. Yeah, and yeah. They, like an op- a thirty-year-old open micer has lower charisma than that guy, uh, dude. It was yeah. brutal. Yes, and he's probably not getting any cheeks. Well, Everyone no, else he got cheeks. Out. He he kissed that girl at the end of the episode. Brutal. Yeah. Was she hot? No. No. Come she was on. she was the kind of <laughs> she was the kind of girl that you'd hook up with prior to the podcast. Uh, that's not true. I did very well. I just didn't fuck that much, but it was still quality. She was one you. of those like Renaissance Fair kind of girls. Oh no, thanks. Yeah. A Stav classic. I don't know. And it's not a Stav classic. I, yeah. That's in the Sula wheelhouse. Thank you very much. The what? Elder Sula. Oh, oh, oh. El- Eldis was slamming yeah. some I really like horrific it. horse back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> I like a girl that smells like body odor. <laughs> a nice, dirty, laundry, renaissance girl. <laughs> uh, he, yeah. he was dating some, like, uh, uh, I think, pastry chef that would eat his ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Could you imagine eating Eldis' Jesus ass? Christ. <laughs> With the hat on? Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> the Chef Boyardee hat on? Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the way I like it. <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh, yeah. But I want to go on Queer Eye, dude. Yeah, you dress too good, though. You have good style. Fuck. Yeah. And it's not going to give me a haircut. Yeah, they can't make you skinnier in three they days. Could. Someone sent me that? a post, I guess, on 4chan fashion advice. People were asking whether this show is a fashionable one, which is like, I can't. What show? Our show. What? Whether we're fashionable. And it's like, I'm, we are fashionable. No, actually, it was funny. They said me and Stav dress well, but you're a try hard fat. <laughs> <laughs> They're not wrong about that. Yeah, that's you look not basic true. And you, you try real hard to look cool. Oh, shut the fuck up. That's, I'm quoting what they said. <laughs> you try hard by wearing Mountain Dew sleeveless shirts. I'm not trying. I just think it's a funny shirt. Yeah. yeah. It is First funny. of all, this is not that's me. That's trying. Saying, this look, is what the you're fashion triggered right now. Adam this is, is what mad. the fashion police on Forge. Adam is mad, dude. You're fucking mad as shit. 
<laughs> Wait till April. Did That's all I'm gonna say. Wait dude, till April. I'm gonna be sauce and so. You're gonna see my. Spring. You're gonna see my boy. You're gonna see me stunning and whatever, dude. Oh yeah, because what you're describing. Don't say it. What you're describing definitely doesn't fall in. They couldn't spin that. Yeah, they're gonna love that. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna love my. I guess their point is that you look like everyone else in Brooklyn. Yeah, which is what you're going uh, for. I don't know if I'm going for it, but yeah, yeah, there are a lot of guys that look like me in yeah. Brooklyn. I'm sweatshirt and like Stavros. you too. There's not. You're not like a fucking unique like look. I'm not trying to look like anything. I just have clothes. Nick has a very u- Nick has a very utilitarian Walmart. We, yeah. we all. I'm wearing I'm wearing moleskin you know, wear, pants from Amazon that I found because I googled the warmest what pants. kind of pants to wear in Antarctica <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted the warmest pants I could get. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking like a cute little bitch in my all black sweatsuit. I don't yeah. know about you guys. Champions back. What do you think's next? Everlast? Probably Everlast. Uh, no, know. Russell. Russell Athletic? Yeah. No, Starter. I think it's actually Starter. Starter came back a while ago. Is it? Yeah, Everybody Starter had a little comeback. Um, I don't know. I love Champion. I was always a Champion boy in my Me youth. Too. I think they were like the they were like a cheap brand somewhere. Yeah, it's sort like, of I think the, Walmart the Models for a yeah, sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of the, the Models. The XFL, brand. they were Champion. Were they? Oh, yeah. I just watched the XFL documentary. This shit was so tight. I remember beating off to the cheerleader part. I used of the to XFL. have a Rod beating Smart He XFL. Hate Me jersey. <laughs> you, you did? beat off to it? There were some steamy parts to that shit, dude. But for like three seconds on screen yeah. before they go back to the Las Vegas Outlaws versus I the. I think you could find LA of them Extreme. And shit on, the, on the internet. I loved the XFL, dude. I loved it too. I just watched the documentary. It would be great if the XFL was like a more extreme version of the NFL. So instead of like the Washington Redskins, it's just like the Washington like N word. (laughs) (laughs) The XFL. Hardcore. You're only allowed if you beat your wife. The New York Giant Faggots. (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah, dude. That's pretty extreme, dude. What else? What else? Uh, what could be more extreme? Uh, uh, yeah. Just more slurs that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Buccaneers are just like the straight up gun in the mouth rapist. <laughs> <laughs> just toothless gun in your pussy and asshole rapist. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jameis Winston is a rapist. <laughs> it's the whole shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah, name. Straight up. Yeah. Gun I in the it. pussy yeah. and <laughs> ass rapist. <laughs> the Tampa Bay straight up gun in the pussy and ass rapist. <laughs> Both swords that cut, <laughs> cut us slit in between your pussy and asshole so I can fuck <laughs> both my goddamn arms. <laughs> the uh, Miami Japanese guys that kill dolphins, you know? Yeah, the, the, the Cove guys. boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's extreme enough. Is that not extreme but enough? Still killing extreme dolphins? Enough. It's, it's, what if you fucking rape the dolphins with one gun in their pussy well, and one the gun Well, the Buccaneers are the rapists because bu- Buccaneers are pirates, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so pirates are rapists. And so this pillagers. would have to be an extreme type of dolphin. Yeah, it's an extreme. So the sharks. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Which was the team on any given Sunday? The Miami Sharks. They got to be gay too. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty gay movie. The Mi- no, that, that was, was a good movie. movie. Um, the Cleveland Browns just about, the same. How about the the San Diego Chargers are the San Diego charging their Samsung Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, <laughs> they're ready to blow up. <laughs> yeah, that's good. We're not topping that. Yeah, um, the 49ers are the uh, hmm. this gold rush. The full blown ads. Wait, uh, no, I was trying to think like it's a prospector. I was going to say what, like what year did the Civil War start? But wasn't that like also that forty nine sixty nine? No, it was in the sixties. What yeah. about getting? What about the? Uh, um, no, the Civil War ended in what, 1960 or 1862? 64, I think. I don't know. I have no fucking idea. I think idea. it was 60 to 64. I'm probably wrong. No, I don't know. I who, think that's my guess. Yeah. Shit's gay. It is gay. Fuck the Civil War, dude. Sorry. Dude, yeah, it was in the 60s, bro. It was yeah. like fucking free love. Yeah, free love. Abraham Lincoln. The dawning of the age of Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. What else? You can fuck maybe... It's the same thing as the Buccaneers, but with those little mining hammers. About, instead of the Cardinals, it's the uh, Cardinals I, I like that this. were just yes. moved to another city yes, after yes, raping. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> after raping 50 children. The recently relocated Cardinals. <laughs> <laughs> the mysteriously relocated Cardinals. <laughs> the Father John's on sabbaticals. <laughs> yeah. How about uh, instead of the, the Rams, it's the... Uh, Rams that uh, had a trailer hitch with a rope attached to the. Oh, oh come God. on! 
God damn it. <laughs> The, the, yeah, the Rams. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's the XFL. Dude. Yeah, it, it is, is extreme. extreme. That yeah. is a, that's it's by it's definition pretty extreme. extreme. Most extreme. Yeah. yeah. What else? Are we Seahawks. Uh, We're gonna do the Seahawks. Uh, the Ravens. There's the, a lot of birds. Mm-hmm. Ravens. Raven Simone's nude pictures from the fappening. <laughs> 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 now you've gone too far, Nick. <laughs> Actually, I would definitely look at those. Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> I, ne- I certainly would. I thought uh, you were against uh, looking at fappening pictures. I mean, I'm talking body type. Oh, body type. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. they were presented, I'd fuck to Raven you. Simone. Is what I'm saying. You would. Is she, is she Lizzie? How about the uh, the Atlanta Jonah Falcons? <laughs> <laughs> They're just stuffed. Yeah, They're yeah. constantly. <laughs> Everyone the has to have the biggest in their pants. dick of all time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that one. The uh, 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 the Denver White Broncos, right? Yo, oh, yeah, easy. Yeah. That's easy money, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Uh, now, uh, Cincinnati Bengals. How about the instead of it's like the Seattle uh, Seahawks Suckhawks? When, when That's I see, not bad. When I, I'm on a Seacock diet. I don't know. What thinking. about Bengals Bengali guys on a bus committing rape in India? Yeah, just yeah, sure. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bengali's a type of Indian, right? Something like it's that. It's a type of person <laughs> from Bangladesh. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Who, who fucking cares? Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah but you know, the same type of flavor of bus rape over there, I would assume. I'm sure, yeah. In Bangladesh. I mean, they um, look the same. The I got some more here. Come on. All right. Uh, how about the this? Dallas Buyers Houston Club? The Dallas <laughs> yeah. Cowboys, all right. Yeah. So, well, yeah, but what's the more extreme version of the Cowboys? You can't just say Dallas Buyers Club. Uh, some uh, about killing Indians? Yeah, maybe. I don't know what the fuck is this goddamn noise. Is it the AC adapter? No, it's something. It's like somebody's phone or something. My shit. I my threw my shit in the phone. phone. I threw my shit away. in the river. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, the Houston Tex- Texans. Texans that are being executed for being mentally retarded. <laughs> yeah, retarded. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Um, Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, the Nazi eagle. That's good. Is that eagle? Yeah. From, yes. The, the one holding the swastika. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The yes. Like we, we both had the eagle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just and honestly, this looked a lot cooler. It was yeah. cool. It was more just Roman. aesthetically, yeah. that shit was fucking tight. Yeah. Well, Nazis had very good taste. Yeah. In, in people and clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which races should yeah, be yeah. around. <laughs> yeah. Remember when Trump got elected, Adam, and you were legitimately afraid there was going to be another Holocaust? Oh, uh, that was a bit. Dude. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it there was might still bit. be, dude. It wasn't. Honestly, bit. after driving here in the snow through that fucking Hasidic neighborhood, you you could I could be convinced. Get, go to yeah. Israel. It was horrible, dude. These fucking Hasid bus drivers tried to cut across two lanes of traffic to make a right. Yeah, I mean, I, then you understand it. Imagine you're trying to use the newly created Autobahn yeah. highway. <laughs> You go 130 miles per hour on it. It's filled with school buses, uh-huh. empty school buses, and with fucking Hebrew mini, letters minivans on cutting people off and blocking the bike lane. That's right. No, well, you can't go faster than me if you have bike. <laughs> it's not. I have to. I have to block the bike lane because I have, I'm culturally spiteful. <laughs> I have to prevent people on a bicycle from getting to where they need to be faster than me <laughs> because I only understand spite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you had caught me in those 10 minutes, I could have been radicalized, but I guess I'm back now. Mm-hmm. Now that I'm in the home of a, a nice Jewish friend of mine. Well, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I don't know. It's kind of light on snacks here, to be honest with I you. I am a little... I could use a dessert, if I'm being honest. I was pretty upset when I got over here and there was no snacks happening. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Nick Are there any cookies? Come over for 10 minutes. Are there any cookies? Uh a couple of days ago and eat an entire bag of Lay's. I did. All and then leave. <laughs> Man, you know better than to have that salt and vinegar. Um, you ate. I went grocery shopping. That's, that's then, gamer fuel for me. Yeah, dude. And then you were like, oh. come over and eat your fucking chips. Snack this, what is it? Prima, uh, prima snack. Prima snack this. <laughs> it's my house. That's you can't true. prima snack this me in my own house. Well, fat guys get prima Watch snack this everywhere. First of all, I've colonized your house. Uh-oh, fuck. And I have fat rice... Of Prima Snackers. The sun never sets on my fucking empire. <laughs> my breakfast empire. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I really do want I feel snacks. like Bob Evans should have a flag. 
You know, I've never been to a Bob Evans in my life. Is that the yeah. Canadian we should one? Go to Bob Evans, dude. Is it actually good? No. <laughs> okay. But I'm down to have a little breakfast buffet. <laughs> okay. You fuck with buffets, right? I like. Oh fuck! Come on. I love buffets. Yeah, but sh- okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. You guys can go. <laughs> I just feel feels nice to. <laughs> be back. Yeah, I do love buffets though. Yeah, we should go to a breakfast buffet. I would like to go Let's to that kind of week. buffet. We should go to an Indian buffet. Weren't we talking about doing that? Yeah. Let's do that. The one we went to on the Johns Hopkins campus. What did they do? They like I bought some like endless tea and then they like took away the tea immediately. Yeah, what was yeah, that? Yeah, that was bullshit. That place sucked. And then we went back and watched Sam Hyde videos. That was fun. That was a great day. There's a good one by me if you guys want to do the bonus on Sunday in Astoria. In Astoria? We go get a little Indian buffet. Yeah, there's no. some good ones in the East Village or the in Bellagio. Murray Hill. Is it in Murray Hill? I don't know. You said it. You you're the one on the East side. There's like there's like a stretch of Indian restaurants. Yeah, oh, but I, I, don't I don't know, know if any of them are buffets. No, we need that buffet. Baby. I've been to a couple of, of like, buff- but they're like cafeteria style and they're fucking disgusting. Yeah, the, this one's nice, but see what I miss about the buffets from Baltimore was just the size, the sprawl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here it's like it is a buffet, but it's everything's on three. Oh yeah, it's like dude. crowded. And fucking tech with the places I used to oh, go to with Cubist. I can was only like imagine balcony seating, <laughs> <laughs> so you can watch the other patrons of the buffet. <laughs> the fattest people are in the center, and everyone there, else gets to watch them. <laughs> there are a ton of Indians, right, in Texas. I guess randomly. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I, you know, I don't pay attention to things like that. <laughs> I do. I like to keep lists. <laughs> yeah, I know that your your natural enemy is a uh, Jewish person. Is well, they are more wealthy than us. Is, are they? Uh, are, I yeah, think they they're are. the Amer- Indian, most Indian, wealthy. Yeah. Asian, Amer- like Indian Americans in particular. Uh-huh. Yeah, are their average uh, household income is like a hundred and ten thousand. It's like a hundred. It's, it's over a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they own every subway. Have you noticed that? They and Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, yeah, and Dunkin' Donuts. When did they get into the Dunkin' Donuts game? I don't know, dude. But yeah. they're crushing it. I kind of want a donut. I want a lot of things, man. I want some t- desserts. How about a restaurant called Drunken Donuts, and it's Adam's asshole that he <laughs> parades around town and lets people fuck it? That's good. I don't get the donut. I don't get I the drunken donut part. Donut a drunk hole. I'm not much okay. of a And his drunk. asshole is the hole? Is, is the, the donut, donut yeah, hole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I He's drink like, Who wants to fuck my ass? So it's a restaurant or more? It sounds like more of a food truck. It's, it's more, like a roaming it's thing. It's more of a guy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so we, just, we start calling Adam Drunken Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think that one, you guys have done some good ones. I think that one was maybe a little stretch. Shut up. He's just asking. I'm man. just saying it feels good. I said, "How about?" Yeah, it's a question. Yeah. What is this? Unless about? you're coming with constructive criticism, I don't want to hear any of this bullshit. All right, I'll say constructively. <laughs> it had something with the drunken thing, but it didn't really make much sense. I, I actually How think about the drunken donut donuts? better. Huh? Drunk drunken no nuts. nuts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, whenever Adam's drunk, then he becomes drunken no nuts. Yeah. <laughs> my yeah, testicles. I, the only person that doesn't have confidence go back when they're into drunk. my body. <laughs> Damn. Some Should I get drunk and grab some titties? I had a dream I was drinking. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's a good sign. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> cool to fall off the wagon. Damn, I hope you don't, brother. Yeah. Uh, don't drink, man. Unless you want to drink my cum. No, thank you. Are you you. sure? No, so that's not alcoholic. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't, it's not like I quit drinking (laughs) cum. (laughs) You're right. You still, I'm sorry. I mean, I could theoretically drink cum and it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. It's not like I would have fallen off the wagon if I drank a bunch of cum. What if it was a really drunk guy's cum? Uh, that's not how your body doesn't. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it doesn't. Really? The only thing that goes in cum is HIV. What about, okay, so literally me, this smart guy, if you eat a bunch of pineapples. Yeah. Your cum tastes better, right? No. So that's if you eat, if you legend. drink no. a bunch of, what, if you urban, drink, the, you're saying there's black people coming up. <laughs> no, that? That, yeah. Who the fuck else is eating those pineapple? <laughs> <laughs> if it was an urban legend, it would be about watermelon. But um, uh, um, if it was How about a turban legend, that's you know? good. Oh, it's if you put pop rocks in soda, then uh, you're going to get hate crimes because people think you're Muslim. A genie comes out of the pop rocks. <laughs> yeah, I bottle. was saying the other day, so the, the Sikh thing is so funny that Sikhs, you could have a Sikh cab driver, uh-huh. and the, you know, they get hate crimes anytime 
it sucks. Muslims act a fool. Yeah, and they're funnier and cooler. They well, they're, they're, they're cooler, but also like Sikhs have like been at war with Muslims forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like when it's like when like fucking skateboarders like harass mall security because they just sort of look like <laughs> right, 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 it's right. It's just like right. a poor man with probably learning disability. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. fuck you, pig. Yeah, and he's like, I just well, I'm trying to save up for a PlayStation. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure no one steals from this TJ Marshalls. Yeah. TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. TJ Marshalls. <laughs> That's, they do the same thing, essentially. I like Marshalls and TJ Maxx, man. <clears throat> I used to go there with my mom all the time. Get some Billabong t-shirts. Oh, yeah. Some Quicksilver. And suck some hard-ass dog. Because, you know, I was, I was on those beaches of Las Vegas as a kid. Just mm-hmm. fucking shrining tubage. I watched the, the first half of... Uh, Leaving Las Vegas last night. Yeah, it's a good movie. I love that. It was one yeah. of my favorite movies when I was a teenager. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because you were drunk? <laughs> well, you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love watching it because if you watch Leaving Las Vegas drunk, you think it's a movie about the world's most charming The man. coolest guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am back, and I am ready to sign the check, baby. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I'm going to add it to my list of movies to oh, see. Oh, yeah. Leaving it's a Las great Vegas movie. Is, yeah. yeah, it's a fun an amazing movie. Maybe Nick Cage is best. What's great is it was. It's based on a novel by this guy John O'Brien. Mm-hmm. John O'Brien was just some like I guess screenwriter in, in Hollywood, but never really. I don't know. I think he had much success. He wrote an episode of Rugrats. Nice. Know, that's the extent of his career. But uh, he wrote that book, Leaving Las Vegas, and then they optioned it and made, they were making it into a movie. And like two weeks after they optioned it, he killed himself. What? Yeah. But the movie's about. Uh, it's like a guy. It's like a screenwriter in Los Angeles. The movie starts off and he's already just like a complete fucking like drunk. And yeah. He's like, you know, ruining business relationships and he's getting fired. And so he decides that he's going to just burn all of his shit and take the rest of his money and go out to Las Vegas and drink himself to death in a hotel. That's over, fine. Like, the course of a month. And then That's he gets a good out. That's good way to go. Yeah. He gets out to, to Vegas and then, uh, um, yeah, it just starts, uh, hooking Elizabeth up. Shue. Yeah. He starts dating Elizabeth Shue, who's a prostitute. Nice. Who uh, then became an actress? <laughs> oh, Nick, oh, Nick. come on, oh, same oh, thing. Dude. We all know. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, man. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Finish the story. Anyways, so then, uh, then Andy gets a new toy. That's uh, uh, an astronaut man. What? Yeah. And, but what about the cowboy? And Nicolas boy? Cage gets jealous. What? Yeah. And so he he he, he connives to uh, have Buzz killed. That's fucked up. Or whatever. Does he does he does he get killed? Is that I I can't remember Toy Story. Is that Woody's fault that Buzz gets like fucked over? I somehow? think so. And then he realizes what he fucked up, and yeah. then they go and then back and save them. him from the pizza yeah. restaurant, yeah, or yeah. something like that, or bu- with or the aliens. Is the is evil kid Toy from Story Toy Story Two? Yeah. Uh, no, that's the first one. Sid. Oh. Sid. Yeah. Sid, the evil kid who's being molested. Probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's like kind of creative. He like takes toys and makes them into new toys. Yeah. He's like artistic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that movie is really about uh, how we need to humanize, humanize uh, uh, products and consumerism. <laughs> yeah, and, and abandon empathy for people that might be eccentric. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Andy's the bad guy. Yeah, no, Andy's the good guy, and the toys. Or no, yeah, the expensive it. toys are the good, the good guys. Yeah. Not the not the kid who wants to right. damage those beautiful products <laughs> right, with, a, right. with a brand identity. <laughs> yeah, because you know Sid's parents were definitely you know going out and buying him expensive toys, and he didn't have like a sort of divorce kind oh, of fucked, fucked up, up situation. Mm-hmm. Getting sucked off by the mailman. Getting sucked off by the mailman. <laughs> Is that happening? I guess. Yeah. I bet you there's mailman mailmen who molested children. You know, children. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm hearing the speech impediment. Children. There's no, there's there's no, there's no, there's 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 no speech impediment, children. man. Dude, that tooth is hilarious. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it's I, really. I, funny. I finally, I'm so glad I got the iPhone 10 because taking pictures of Stav in portrait mode, <laughs> it's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I saw the one you took the other day. <laughs> <laughs> the humans of New York. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, how it's all like. Uh, like shallow focus and it's like fuzzy in the background. Cute. Yeah. It looks really nice. It is. A Take good one picture. in the snow, dude. <laughs> yeah. Let's go outside. I, I would love to make use of this fucking 
twelve hundred dollar <laughs> cell phone. <laughs> Let's go outside after this. Take one in the snow. I want to get a fit pic to show all the bitches how cute I look. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be at the stand. This, I was taking pictures of my dick with a uh, portrait oh, mode. Oh, nice. Just blur out the head. Funny. No, no, no. You just say I take like nice glamour shots of my cock. Oh, man. <laughs> Did I tell you about the time I saw Elvis' I, was, cock full hard? Who? Because Elvis? Because he, he, sa- he was showing me like, he was like some girl was sending him nudes and he was showing me like her titties. Mm-hmm. And then he just kept scrolling <laughs> <laughs> by accident. And he didn't mean to. He's like, oh. And it was like his hard ass like for pro, like presentation, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and it's pink as shit. Looking by the, way. the best. His dick is so pink, and I know it was a fucked up angle. It, like he curved it so he, it looked like he had an extra yeah. inch. But yeah, just so hard. Oh yeah, so dick pink. pics are are all lies. All Very pink dick. Yeah, yeah. Which I did um, not appreciate. I got a nice tan boy. Yeah, I used to. I, I took a picture one time where I was like grabbing it at the base, and you know, like you could cheat. Of course, like yeah, of course, because of you pull course. back the pubes, yeah. right? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and you also it, stretch it out. It makes taut. my dick look like thirteen inches long. So yeah, I yeah. to send that to people. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's like, man, I hope we never actually fuck. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like a huge disappointment. Yeah, yeah, for you. yeah, yeah. You think my dick reaches my head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you take a picture from underneath, it looks pretty big too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. underneath, I never go underneath. Yeah, I've, oh, I've experienced. I always pull it. back my fat to give uh, me that. Extra. If I did lose weight, my dick would be nice. Anyways, uh, so House of Blues, March twenty second, <laughs> shows already sold out. Come dot town merchandise. Oh, is yes, good. March seven. Oh yes, yeah, Stabby Baby, or it's by Fred. Uh, dot co slash Stabby Baby. Fucking buy a domain name. Who's gonna remember? It's my buy friend. Fred. Dot I know co it's fucked up. Okay, GeoCities. Look, dot motherfucker. I know it's just my friend. Mar- uh, Stav shirts at Stav's friend. Dot virus. Dot ru. <laughs> March twelfth is Funny Moms. We didn't announce the last one, and we stranded back at it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Nobody fucking came. That was embarrassing. I was sorry me. about that. Were you embarrassed? It is a little bit, yeah. yeah when you show, yeah, because well, we had Damien on the show, and I like literally for yeah, months. I was is, like, Damien, yeah. you gotta, and he's like technically my boss, sort of. Yeah, on, and on he's also just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It is. I mean, they are are all pretty like yeah, good. But even not being my boss, I like Damien. He's a yeah. good comic. And, you don't like, waste his time. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't need to fucking waste his time. Were there anyone there? Max said he was there. Yeah, there was a handful of people there. Okay, so but, I mean, we're no, gonna announce it on the show. said it was like by regular standards, it was fine, but we have a bang right. We they're usually great. So. We ended up owing the bar March money. 12th. We did? How? Yeah. Because for how, for we, what? Because it's $150 to rent the space. Yeah. There was only $75 in ticket sales. Oh, did you pay it? No, the guy let it slide. Yeah, you okay. better fucking Fine. let it slide. We made those cocksuckers so much money. You knew what was money. going on. I wrote them an email, and I was like, I'm out of town. I told them why, so. Yeah. We shouldn't be paying that, but anyway, it's a different story. Anyway, um, so. Uh, March yeah. 12th. And that's the show. Everybody. We've already booked a couple comics. And uh, that Andy Haynes. Chris DiStefano and Andy show. Haynes, and we're going to book a couple and that's more. that's the show. And, uh, and uh, like I said, March 17th. POC and uh, f- and wait, March 17th W-O-C. at the Good Good Comedy Theater. Please buy tickets for that. Philadelphia. Um, and then, yeah, baby, that's pretty much it for now. Um, yeah, suck me off. Yeah. Oh, com. and I'll be at Umar Khan's show, I think, on... Oh, when? I In Baltimore? The f- yeah, the 5th of April. Cool. It's a good show. Um, <clears throat> okay, that's it, you motherfuckers. Yeah. That's the show. All right, bye. 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 Yeah. That's the show. All right, bye.